The story store, the story store. Stories, surprises, and secrets galore. And dreams that come true are waiting for you inside the store. The story store, the story store. Wonders are waiting for you to explore. Into the window, open the door. Into the story store. It was the first day of spring, and Granny Clump was full of the joys of life as she made her merry way to the story store with her young grandson, Sammy. But when they entered the story store, they found poor George in a sorry state. How do, Granny Clump? Sorry I can't raise my hat. No offence. Never you mind about that, George. You don't look at all well. Whatever is the matter? I don't rightly know what's wrong. I was in the middle of my spring cleaning when I suddenly felt all cobbly wobblyfied. But I must finish the cleaning no matter what. The magic inspector will be here to inspect the story store at 12 noon today. You mustn't get up, George. I think you have spring fever. But everything must be spick and span when the magic inspector arrives. If we fail the inspection, he could close the story store for good. Never you mind about that. Pip and Sammy will take care of the story store for you, won't you, boys? And as for you, George, I'm going to look after you in my garden until you're all better. But the magic inspector... Oh. This is what you need to make you feel better, George. Fresh air, sunshine, and a little gentle exercise helping me with my knitting. You're not well, George. You can't even raise your hat, can you? No, I can't. I'll believe you're all right when you can raise your hat, and not before. I know what it is to suffer, you know. Nobody knows what I've suffered at the hands of my feet. I'm a martyr to my bunions. I could tell you things about my bunions that would make your blood run cold. In the meantime, Sammy and Pip were having a wonderful time exploring the story store. I wonder what this tin of Speedo powder does. have given my bunions fancy scientific names, you know. But I say, a bunion is a bunion. They may know their onions, but I know my bunions. And I'll tell you another thing about my bunions. Well, Pip, that's enough Speedo powder for now. Let's see what this move lever does. Wow! Did you see that, Pip? The move lever moved that box. <laughs> Everything's moving now. Ooh, ooh, this is great fun. Ha! Ah, wow! Oh! Stop it! Get away from me! Oh no! All the boxes in the story store are moving. Sorry story of my bunions, George. Oh, look, the poor soul's sound asleep. I'll just tiptoe off and leave him in peace. 
A good sleep is the very thing he needs to make him feel better. And so George slept peacefully in the garden as the minutes ticked away and the time drew ever nearer for the visit from the magic inspector. What a mess, Pip. Look at what you've done. Oh, all right then, look at what we've done. I wonder if we can tidy up this mess with the move lever. Why? Nothing in the story store seems to be moving. But something was moving in Granny's garden. It was George, and he was still sound asleep. There's something wrong with this machine, Pip. George will be furious when he finds out you've broken it. Oh, all right, he'll be furious when he finds out we've broken it. Oh, it's you, George. Oh, oh, I must have dozed off. What time is it? Oh, no, it's almost 12 o'clock. The magic inspector will be here at any moment. And look at the state of the story store. I'll try sprinkling the speedo powder on the move lever. Oh dear, there's a magic inspector. I hope everything's all right at the story store. Let's hope this works. How do, George? How do, Alfred? Ah, well, George, lad. Do you mind if I do my inspection of the story store? Not at all, Alfred. I can hardly stop my own twin brother from doing his job. Well, now, where shall I start? Everything looks very spick and span, I must say. I'll just test some of this vanishing cream. Put a little touch of it on my head. Yes. Oh, that seems quite satisfactory. Now, what will I test next? I just came to give you some moral support, George. Let's see what a little sprinkle of speedo powder will do. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see if this move machine works. Hmm. Well, that certainly did the trick. After his inspection of the story store, the magic inspector began to write in his book, while George waited anxiously for the verdict. Well, Alfred, have I passed? No, you haven't passed. <gasps> You've done better than that. You have the best magic shop I've ever seen in all my life. It's lovely. And so you get a special prize of a gold star in your bowler hat. Hooray! 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 Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks, Alfred. You deserve it, lad. Congratulations. See you again next year. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Bye-bye, Alfred. Thanks again. You did it, George. You did it. You raised your hat. Now I know that everything really is all right after all. <laughs> the story store, the story store. Wonders are waiting for you to explore. Peep through the window, open the door. Into the story store, store. The story store. Story surprises and secrets galore And dreams that come true are waiting for you 
inside the story store.